Hi all, Naga part 7, we're in Elven Halls 2, the plan is just to do this floor and then probably to bail. I don't have any digging, so I feel like at this stage in the game I'd rather not do Elf 3 without digging, especially being slow, seems really dangerous. In the last one we managed to acquire this super sweet crystal plate armor. I guess it's not that amazing, but it's still a plus 9 crystal plate armor with RC. I guess our poison is useless for us, but still, uh, the plan, at least for the moment, is to work towards that. So I'm training a whole bunch of skills. Uh, I got hexes and charms up so that spectral weapon will be castable in the crystal plate armor. And now I'm working towards getting Spire Castable. And once that happens, I'll switch over. Okay. Also, the results for the music experiment are in. Overwhelmingly, people said no music. Quite a few said that it was too distracting. And I agree. So, that's that. Let's get going, shall we? The real danger here with this demonologist is not the banish. We have enough MR that it's actually a 0% chance, it's the demon summon. So my two options I've got here is I could try to sneak, sneak up on him and kind of hope that there's nothing around here. And then if he does summon a fiend or something, I could blink back to the stairs. We have a lot of blink actually. I was just looking at that. We have seven scrolls of blinking. That's quite a lot. Otherwise, I could... Um, Try to fight him from here, and if he summons a fiend, I just go back upstairs. That's probably the safer option. Yeah, okay, let's do that. He, uh, <laughs> uh, what's that? I always forget what that thing is called. What is it called? He abjured my spire. What a boss. Yeah, see, there's a, there's a guardian serpent. It's probably a shapeshifter, but, uh, I think that, that helps highlight why this was the best choice because if I had stepped around this corner and there was we've at least got three enemies but there could be even more there with the guardian serpent blinking them all on us yeah definitely so he was a shapeshifter and look he come even more things okay he never summoned any demons I wish they were all like that <laughs> okay Oh, okay, it's not as bad as it looked. He just summoned a million things. This looks like it's some sort of shapeshifter vault. Why can't you animate skeletons? Oh, it's just a large shield here. I thought for a second there, I thought that was a large shield of ignorance. Not that we'd want that, because um, that would really hurt our spell casting. Especially if we're, we're doing this crystal plate plan. Okay. And magic to nine. I wonder. Okay, I want to go back to the stairs before I get naked. But I'd like to have a look at what this does. So my spectrals are 8%. And this makes Spire be 13. So we probably need a little bit more. So I think if we go Air and Summoning to 10, then we can switch. And I probably will go a little bit more Hexes and Charms, probably to 8. Because 8% 8 to fail is still... Whoops, I should switch back. Well, it's not a massive deal, because Spectral Weapon is one that you just miscast, uh, you just recast and it doesn't really matter. But, you'd rather not waste turns when it matters. Well, I think I already killed St. Ruka, so the orcs are a bit puzzling here. Yeah, I did kill St. Ruka. I don't know, just a random orc sorcerer for some reason. You need to be careful. So usually when I first start playing again, I start getting a bit tab happy, and then I 
I put myself in bad situations. Is my Naga botting really fully enchanted? Yeah, it is. Okay. I thought you could go higher than plus four in a Naga body. Apparently not. Uh, do I want to enchant my plus my helmet that's plain? Not really. So I'm just going to drop these Amnesia Scrolls and I'll switch them for the enchant armor. Maybe if we find a... Oh, what about the other gloves though? Where are the other gloves? I don't know. Uh, that might be worth checking out. I'll, I'll have a look once we finish Elf here. Because I had Dex gloves somewhere. Um, none of this stuff I really want. Except the magic mapping maybe. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, I'm saving for stuff aren't I? Nah, whatever. While we're here. <laughs> Uh, the thing I'm saving for is uh, summon mana viper, but that's actually a lot harder to cast in crystal plate armor. So that would be an even bigger investment. Roxanne. Um, I think we just ignore her. We're not really after her book, and slowly walking at her uh, is going to give her a lot of chances to crystal spear. Get out of here. There's an annihilator. I'd like to step behind the spire so that. Okay. Well, he just blinked, but the idea was that I'd be blocking any crystal spears or poison arrows or iron shots. And I'm not going to be doing Hall of Blades. There's really not that much to be gained from going in there. I'm not looking for a, a weapon. And um, I guess Slouch is very effective because all the weapons are fast, but still. The risk of dying in there is not worth what we might get out of it. So there are, there are gloves. And that's how Elven Hall's Elven 2. So we're going to... We'll leave that for now. I left him in snake. Why did I do that? No, no, no. Okay. Gloves of Dex. I should test this as well with the crystal plate armor on because that's going to give us a better indication. So this is 9 EV with strength gloves, and then with dex gloves, we go also 9 EV. Well, okay. If it doesn't, doesn't affect our EV, which it doesn't appear to, uh, I'd rather just have strength gloves then. Alright. Makes sense. Mm. We'll be switching soon. Alright. So that means we're going into vaults. Again, we have lots of MR, so we should be pretty good in terms of being marked, that sort of thing. We have, we also have very good resistances. The only one that we're really lacking is Aralek, and that's a quote-unquote <laughs> luxury resource. So I guess that's okay. There aren't too many dedicated elect monsters in vaults. I mean, you can see them. You can see everything in here, actually. Um, and you can get what's my columns? Uh, storm dragons as well. Okay, there's there's a whole pack of yak tours. We're gonna go back into this room. Put down a spire. There's the captain. damage. It's crazy. I shouldn't be blocking my spire. Although then the skeleton did anyway. <laughs> yeah, here we go. 1% sentinels mark. 
We'd have to be very unlucky. Okay. It looks like we have a whole bunch of monsters coming. Um, oh, they could come behind us though. I was gonna say, I'm in a corner. What's going on here? Yeah, sorry, I'm in a corridor. So this might be a good time to use our Song of Slaying. The problem is, we have this back bit. So if we make noise, we could get sandwiched. So I'm gonna say we don't. We don't Song of Slaying. Okay. I've got even more coming. I want to step back, recast my spectral, um, because I don't want all these things just to have vision of me, especially the convokers who can summon in even more dudes. Okay, I should regen as well. Uh, I think this is worth singing. There's so much stuff here. All right, here we go. Song of Slaying. The boggets are a real issue. Um, if they start, well, they have started summoning, but if they get out of hand, okay, they didn't. But I, I don't know. I probably would have used the wand of clouds in order to uh, try to get him from behind, or such would have worked too, actually. But anyway, uh, we ended up with plus eight slaying there. I really, really like some slaying. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Um, let's see if we can bring those guys to us. Alright, I want to get back in the hallway. And I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to sing. You get you get a lot of good hallways in um, vaults where Song of Slaying is really strong. I didn't like it so much in... Um, well, Snake is often very open. And what was that other one? It was Swamp, yeah, Swamp. Song of Slaying in Swamp is <laughs> generally a pretty bad idea. What have we got? A stuff. So much stuff. We have a single meat ration. I thought we turned those off. I oh, will just eat it. There you go. Alright, so we can check out this stuff. Stuff of air. It's really not worth um, trying to use a stuff of air just to increase your lightning spire power. I guess if we ever learn deflect missiles, that's not a bad thing to have a spell power boost on. But again, it's like a, a very marginal benefit for something that... Oh, again? Um, for something that it's kind of annoying to switch and do. Uh, well, we've got pretty much everything we've got's pretty sweet. I guess we could go for. Because what armor could I get? I don't know. We could get a good helmet. Maybe some sort of artifact gloves. But I think our armor's pretty good. Our jewelry is really bad. Hmm. Jewelry requirement is it's a bit better than it used to be, but it's still really, really hit or miss. You'll sometimes just get a ring of say plus three dex or plus two protection. <laughs> um but an amulet would be really nice. Jewelry is probably also the most likely thing to give us RLX, so let's do that. Yeah, okay, here we go. Plus three dex ring incoming. Okay, it was plus six evasion. That's actually really good. Uh, if we take, if we take the protection from magic ring off, we only have three points of MR. I think that's probably not good enough. So I think what we'll do is we'll drop the plus three protection. We'll go protection from magic, and then especially if we switch to the crystal plate armor. Um, AC won't be an issue. Might be worth it now. Let's have a look. 7% lightning spire, 7% spectral. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. 
Alright, so we have way more defenses now. With 43 AC and then plus 6 EV to get 15. We're in a pretty good spot, I'd say. None of this stuff. Oh yeah, I didn't check all grabs. What's all grabs? 16% and yellow. Okay. Well, I'm nearly at 10 for summoning in air, so I think probably I'll do a little bit more poison magic as well. Which twin? Now oh, these guys are a pain. I'll just give them the vape. Oops, that's not the right buttons. <laughs> it's like a cascade of wrong button presses there. As I, I hit the wrong key, and then in trying to recover, I hit even more wrong keys. <laughs> Air magic to 10. Turn that off. Summoning's to 10. So I'm going to go... Well, Spectral's at 6%, so I actually think that's probably fine. Let's do a little bit more poison though, just to get all grabs down. I guess we'd ultimately like silence, so I guess that's a good argument to train a bit more hexes. And yeah, that's probably okay for now. There's no extreme hurry to get silence. I've got two scrolls for it, so in a panic. If I meet, say, Boris or Frederick or someone, um, I've still got it. Okay. I thought maybe my animate skeleton had become really bad, but no. It's just the classic 12% the classic failure rate. Oh dear, that's too many things. Although they're all inside. <laughs> For a second there, I don't know, whenever I see an Entropy Weaver, I just start panicking. Which is probably the correct thing to do when you see Entropy Weavers. <laughs> they, don't, they don't get weaker. It's not like they are a threat earlier in the game. And then, uh, as you get stronger, they become less threatening. They're just as threatening, even in Ziggs. Spellcasting to 8. Well, I keep going. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe 9. Maybe 10. I don't know. We'll keep going. Should be going all grabs. Acid? Mm, we have one wand of acid with 3 on it. Let's ID this one. It's got 5. Okay. I guess that's an upgrade. Oh dear, that's flail. Um, I don't have a very easy way- I'm not flail, flayed. I don't have a very easy way of killing this guy from range with poison, so I think it's time to slouch. Okay, he's nearly dead. If it's just him, that's okay. It's only when you have um, other stuff around that's gonna kill you when you've been flayed. So I just really fail spectral three times in a row there. Yeah, oh, I miscast regen and then two spectrals. Whoa. The 5% fail rate, double fail. Yeah, I'm not the sort of person who does zigs much, if at all. I don't think I've ever completed one. Um, I've done them, but not completed them. But from what I've heard, the, the spider themed floors are by far the most ridiculous. Because they have ghost moss, so if you're a magic user, you, you lose all your magic, unless you have invis. And then you also lose all your melee ability because of the entropy weavers, so you just get boned <laughs> both ways. No magic, no weapons, get wrecked. It's a titanic slime. I need to take this really slowly. Okay, he didn't didn't hit me for the hundred damage. If he did, we probably would have stepped from time.
Pew, pew. I like how he can LRD my spire. We miscast Spectral again? Come on now. This looks like another good opportunity to do Song of Sling. Um, I need to be careful here that I don't get... I miscast it again? Did I really? No, I think it just died as soon as I cast it. Okay, that's alright then. I was going to say... What is up with Spectral? Photon wasn't so bad. Suddenly a whole new pack though. Let's sing. Bam. Casual plus, plus 5 sling. Not Spectral, Song of Sling. I don't know. <laughs> Having trouble with my spell names this morning. Poison to 9, that makes Ogrebs be at 8%. Um, taking it to 10 with a plus 3 aptitude is really nothing. Let's just take it there. Okay. I didn't think there were many rings that we hadn't seen. I can do backslash minus and it will show me. Yeah, there are quite a few. Although the only one that I'd probably ever use might be wizardry, and even then, probably not. I'm gonna keep going with hexes. These guys are all mited. Uh, it's a bit of a worry. I think I'm okay. Yeah, we're good. I should not be just charging at these guys. <laughs> it's the the danger of getting cocky here. If I just start tabbing at things, I have the potential to die very very quickly as a Naga of Che. I want to step back through the door here um, because of the Vault Warden there. If he seals the door when you're standing on it, it will pull you inside the room. So I step back, I can't get pulled in, and I'm going to Song of Slay. <laughs> I like how I, ki I killed about four guys there, but I didn't get any of the Slay because the actual kills went to the Lightning Spire. Your wep- ooh, grand weapon? Is that worth? Probably. Demon Trident and Flaming. Cause what- What could we get worse? Um, Piercing would be relatively equivalent. Freezing would be relatively equivalent. Um, Draining would be better. Vamp would be better. If we got Elect, that would be the absolute dream. And then... The only bad one would be protection, probably. Let's have a look. I'll show you. Um, scroll of brand. I think that should find it. No, I need to do the second one. Here. So it gives you all the percentages. For a melee weapon, it's the most two common, 19% each, are flaming and freezing. Then you get Vorpal, so that's just the plain one that gives you more damage. Venom, I guess Venom would be actually not that different to Flaming. Then you can get Drain, Elect, Protection, it's only 7.6%, 5% Vamp, and 1.9% Chaos. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Let's get, what was our Elect roll? About 10%. Alright, let's get 10% roll. Cross your fingers. Okay, drum roll, please. 
That was a really bad drum roll. Uh, poison. Eh, yeah, 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 that's fine. If I find more, um, brand weapon scrolls, we're gonna keep branding it though. I guess poison's on theme. Oh, this is another good song of slay opportunity. But I guess poison's on theme with a naga. We all grab stuff. Put Spire here, and then as they get zapped, we just apply more all grabs. Has it been a whole episode before since I've told you how much I love Lightning Spire? Let me just remedy that. I love Lightning Spire. It's so good. A manual of armor ran out. It's still worth just training though. We have such a massive amount of base armor. Crystal plate is base 14. Helmet's 1. Barding is 4. So we're at 19. And then gloves are another 1. 20. AC 20. Basically every point of armor skill we train we get an extra 1 AC. That's so good. Poison to 10. That's enough. Got a box of base is probably worth having. Okay. What's our gold situation? Yeah, I think we're just never ever gonna get some amount of viper. Not that that's a big deal. But I keep spending my gold. That is so much stuff. Uh. Okay. Let's start fighting it, and then if we start getting overwhelmed, we will, um, what's that thing called? Step from time. I'm going to put down a, actually using my wands. <laughs> Surely not. I'm going to put down a wand of clouds. I got fire. That's really good. And then I'm going to sing as well. All right. Yeah, we should be fine here. Got a very good clouds roll. And we can poison this guy if he just wants to sit there. Alright, that went fine. When I first stepped around that corner and saw all those very ugly things, I was a bit worried. Silence is already down to 17%. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can keep going with a bit more hexes and a bit more spell casting. Spellcasting is not amazing, but I don't I don't mind having more of it. My um my panic button abilities are so minor intensive that even if it, I'm only training it just to get a bit more mana, I don't mind that too much. Let's go more int. Always more int. Okay, do we have RN? No. Uh, not that he's going to kill me, but uh, we can get pretty drained against those guys without any RN at all. Wasn't too bad, I guess.
Whoops. Got to be careful, really careful not to tab towards a guy that can do 102 damage per crystal spear. The thing about spells as well, because I have have a quite an enormous amount of AC and a lot of GDR, which is guaranteed damage reduction because of a crystal plate armor. But the thing about spells is that um, GDR doesn't apply to them at all. Um, GDR only applies to melee attacks, so you can get you can get completely unlucky on a spell like Crystal Spear and get a one one AC roll, even in Crystal Plate armor. Something there. So yeah, the point I'm trying to make is, even if you're very tanky and very heavily AC, you still have to be wary of very high damage spells like Crystal Spear, because there is no guarantee. I have 220 gold, and there is a bazaar. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna walk in like a little kid, just put my 220 gold on the table. What can I buy with this? I guess we'll go find it. Even with just 220 gold, there might be a potion of heal wounds or two. That would be worth it. It's up the top, up here. Try to ignore these orcs. Oh man, Harpy Skeleton, OP. Oh, there's Mara. We have a lot of RF, which helps us against Mara. Um, but Mara is still always dangerous, especially when he copies you. Um, at least my a weapon of venom isn't too bad against me. This is a time where you don't want to have the the elect demon trident. Also, don't try to summon Mara. That doesn't work. Mara is a demon. Demons um, cannot be silenced. <laughs> you only make that mistake once. I'm going to step back just to restrict some line of sight. Put down a spire. I'm going to start trying to fight Mara. Um, immune to poison, surely. Resistant. Oh, yeah, demons can, can be poisoned now. Previously, they couldn't. Um, if this goes badly, I'll have to... Either teleport or step from time. In this case, probably step from time is better because I don't want to be taken away from the bazaar here. But let's uh, give it a go. He stepped next to me, what an idiot. Now you get constricted. He blinked free. Um, pull out our crossbow. Oh, there we go. He has a demon blade of elect. That's pretty sweet. If you are a sword user. Alright, that was actually pretty pretty easy. But don't underestimate Myra, please. He's always a threat no matter what. We can afford oh no, we can't afford, we only have two twenty. Thought we could get another box of base. Nope. There are some potions. Yeah, see there's a heal wounds potion. I wasn't lying. And enchant weapon. Yeah, that's the thing I'd most like. So we get a plus 9 demon trident now, and I guess the, the heal wounds is probably the, the most valuable one. You got 50 gold? <laughs> uh, well that's a curing. Alright, so that was definitely worth it. For the price of one magic mapping scroll we got enchant weapon, a heal wounds and a curing. Take that trade. How much heal wins do we have? Seven. Yeah, we have a lot.
Hmm. Can you spy like this to just block any rocks that he intended to throw at me? We have a lot of RF, that's fine. Ain't afraid of no fire giants. We have a lot of RC too. Two points of RF, two of RC. Uh, <laughs> we are afraid of entropy weavers though. Hello. Basically, as soon as something gets in melee with us, it just dies so fast. This is a song. Uh, no, it's not. A song situation. I wonder what sort of a song a Naga sings. If it's a hiss. Book of Fire. If this were earlier in the game, that might tempt me, but not now. There's a lot of things. There's even more things. Let's sing. I want to make sure that I don't drop below 10 mana in case I need to um, step from time here. So it looks like a pretty good slouch opportunity. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this is not so bad now. Hex us to 10, I think. That makes silence be 11%. Uh, we'll go one more. We'll do one point of hexes to 11 and one point of air to 11 and then we'll call it a day. We're at slay plus 9 right now. Sick. If I didn't already have enough damage. Slay plus 9 is so over the top. And again, spellcasting to 10. I think that's good enough for spellcasting though. And then, yeah, once we've got these couple more points in hexes and air magic, we'll just work on our defenses. As I keep exclaiming, our offense is already pretty off the charts. I seen crypt yet? Yeah, it was last four. Okay, not that I I want to do crypt. Um, but it sometimes has really dangerous entry vaults with cursed skulls. Oh yeah, that was probably when I got flayed. I remember. Perfect sing opportunity. <laughs> Let me sing you the song of my people. We've got one more floor. Faults four, and then we'll be heading. I don't know, we still haven't seen digging, right? No, no digging. I don't know about elf then. This is a lot of things. Um this looks like a good time to slouch. Right. So it's going to harm my spectral weapon. So I can very easily get rid of my spectral weapon by switching to my crossbow. And then we can slouch. And again. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now this stuff should all just die to all grabs. Um, I should not be tabbing at him while he's throwing rocks. Yeah, okay, never mind. I don't know why it all grabs. It only worked on the necromancer. Could just vaped him and would have been less mana. What is that guy doing? He's fighting my spectral weapon from around the corner. That's really sneaky.
another good song of slaying opportunity. Yeah, we're still going. We've got the slay plus nine. See, that's Boris. Um, if I silence him, he'll be trivial. We've got a 7% chance to silence. Yeah. I mean, we've got a Spy down, we've got a Spectral, and we've got plus 9 Slay. So with Silence, he, um, yeah, he's just basically a goner. Unless he does this. What a, what a boss. It's getting outplayed there. <laughs> he tried to wait out the Silence. Uh, not a bad Gambit. He realized the, the futility of his situation there. But I was I was too clever. I actually just ran at him. Let's see. Hexes is at eleven. That's enough. Air magic is almost at eleven. And then we're gonna go fighting armor dodging. Yep. Cool. Maybe at some point in the future. Maybe we'll get enough magic enough money to buy summon mana viper and then we'll train some more summoning but not this day hmm I need the flayed ghost to die let's uh File of Floods in, I guess. As long as nothing gets on top of me, I'm okay with this. Um, am I really, though? I don't know. No, I think I just step from time. Let's just not even mess around with this. Okay. Um, so you can see here, things can still be here because they wander around but they're not necessarily going to go the thing is he's ended up next to me which is fine so we can just kill him and then we'll get our our HP back um, make a spire and then depending on what this vault warden um, convoker summons we might need to step from time again or teleport I think he's just out of range for silence because that's something you can do as well. But the thing is, I'm kind of in the open here with a lot of unexplored territory around me. So, uh, silence seems a bit risky. Oh, yeah, it wasn't that bad of summon. So, we go spectral. And magic to 11, turn that off. I'm going to focus fighting and I'm going to do armor and dodging. Um. Even though we're in crystal plate armor, you can still get pretty good. Um, with this much strength and dex especially, 37 and 28 respectively, you can still dodge pretty well even in crystal plate. But it's armor that gives us the better returns by far. So I guess maybe we'll focus armor as well. Yep. Okay. We've got so much firepower that at this point, uh, we really just need to stay alive. More all grabs. Fighting to 15, all right? So, probably for the rest of the game, except for perhaps, um, I should maybe do a bit of translocations. Just get Appetation castable. Uh, it's not a big deal. No, okay. Well, if I find the blink spell, I'll probably want to train some um, translocations. And then maybe eventually we'll get some in Mana Viper. But with the exception of those things, probably for the rest of the game, we'll just focus our defenses. Because we are easily strong enough to win at this point. As long as we don't die. Uh, we'll win. I mean, that's a that's a really trite thing to say. As long as we don't die, we'll win. Um, that's a truism, obviously. But 
Um, as far as skilling goes, it's true. As long as you are strong enough to survive, you'll never die. So if your offense is good, you should really just be getting more defense. Uh, more flea. These guys are really rough. There's not much I can do about them. Uh, can okay. Well, he's in. He's in trident range now. This looks like we're dying. Um, I still got a Yaktor in front of me. Um, to block arrows, but I could die to this. Um. Say his arrow, say I get flayed again, and his arrow misses the troll and gets me. I think we just step from time again. We just don't even risk it. Uh, okay, so we made it worse. <laughs> um, we go again. Okay. Well, at least the flayed ghost is gone, so we're soon going to be rid of it. So I think what I do here is um, I use a blink. I mean, I could step from time again. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, let's just go again. Okay, well that that did it. There we go. These flayed ghosts have been. A very real source of danger because <laughs> there's not a lot I can do to them from ranged other than my crossbow step back around the corner I should have a spy down too The thing I was thinking about before I decide just to step from time again is I was going to blink. Oh man, again. Alright, here he is. Um, I'm just going to... Oh, this is such a bad idea. I'm walking around at 2.8 speed while really injured from flay. Um, let's slouch. And again. There we go. Yeah, I really don't know what I can do against the flayed ghosts. Um, other than training the crossbow, which I don't know, I, eh, I think we're okay. We're probably not going to see that many flayed ghosts. Is our vaults for done? Sweet. So that's our vaults for now. Uh, I guess our options are either going into depths or going to finish Elf 3. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to think about that one. So you have to wait for the next episode. See you then.